Today we're talking all about how to plan for life and retirement. We retired in 2019 and have been traveling full time ever since. Stay with us till the end of the episode because we will be sharing what was most surprising to us about life and retirement. A big hello and welcome back to our subscribers. Thank you for joining us for another episode. If you're new to our channel, I'm Jillian. And I'm Stephanie. We're a couple who put in a lot of years of saving and investing until we were finally able to say goodbye to our corporate jobs. If you're looking for how to's for early retirement, you can click on that subscribe for a new video every single Thursday. Today we're talking about what happens when you finally say goodbye to your job and begin your new life. When you've been working so hard towards your goal of financial independence, it's easy to lose sight of what happens afterwards. So you put in your last day at work, you've got your finances all lined up, what happens next? So often, we haven't really taken the time to think through what will make up the day-to-day -day experience of our new life once we've retired. We're just far too busy going to work, managing busy lives, probably managing all of our expenses, and we just don't make the time. But it's important to remember why you're on this journey of financial independence and to have a vision for what happens next in your life. So we're going to get into all of that today and we're going to give you a few tips for how you can come up with your own vision for what life looks like after retirement. We also talk about this in a lot more detail in our free seven day course, which we'll link up in the description below. Before we dive into things, a question for everyone watching. Have you already come up with some ideas for what your life might look like in retirement? You can let everyone know in the comments. We would love to hear from you. So why is having a plan for after you retire so important? Why not just figure it out once you've retired? From our perspective, if you don't have a plan for your future, you might find yourself facing some of the downsides of retirement. So these could include loss of identity because you're stepping away from the career that you built over many years. It could include feelings of being isolated because you no longer have that network of colleagues that you're used to seeing every single day. And finally, you might even feel bored because you no longer have your work routine that would create a bit of structure for your life. And if you think you'll never feel that way, you just need to hop onto some of the online forums to see just how many people feel a loss of purpose and direction once they're a few months into retirement and the initial excitement has worn off. We talked about the emotional side of retiring in a recent video where we assessed our own experiences six months into retirement. And you can check that video out in the description below. For our part, it took a lot of work to come up with a vision for the future that we both wanted to retire to. So at that time, we were both working in very high pressure jobs as expats in Singapore. And one of us, specifically me, was very focused with tunnel vision on building her career. And the other one of us, Jillian, was wanting something else, but really struggled to articulate what that might be. I knew that I didn't want to spend the rest of my life stuck in an office, but I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I knew I loved being outside and working with my hands, but that wasn't really enough of a life plan for Stephanie. Jillian kept trying to engage me in discussions about these crazy things called financial independence and retiring early. Unfortunately, because she didn't have a clear idea of what she wanted either for herself or for us together, it was really hard to get on board. And I also was at a stage where I was getting a lot of fulfillment from my career. It was only when I started feeling really burnt out from work after a year of working too many weekends that I was finally ready to roll up my sleeves and start planning this future life with Jillian. As we have learned from our own experience, if you are in a relationship, coming up with a plan for the two of you together is a key part of getting your partner on board. This is something we talked about in a recent video, which we'll link up in the description below. Now, when you're thinking about what your life might actually look like in retirement, it's good to remember that there are a range of ways that people can experience retirement. You are now free to pursue any interests and any endeavors that you would like. So you could spend the time maybe focusing on family and friends. You could be volunteering for causes that you're really passionate about. Maybe it's learning some new skills. You could even be starting a passion project that ends up generating an income. Now, some people may argue that some of these are no longer retirement, especially the ones where you earn a little income, but let's not get so hung up on terminology. We're talking about a stage in life where you're no longer dependent on working for a living, so you're free to pursue whatever you wish. 
So what does your ideal future look like? How do you want to spend your time? Is there some sort of mission or purpose or goal that you want to focus on? There are a lot of hours in the day to fill. So the danger is, if you don't have a plan or goals, you might just end up whiling away the hours watching Netflix on the couch. You might even find yourself missing aspects of work, like having colleagues and that sense of accomplishment when you finish a big project. As we mentioned, when we first started thinking about and talking about taking early retirement, we really didn't know how we were going to fill our days. But then we actually put in the hard work of figuring out what does life after work look like? So with that in mind, we have a few tips that we can share with you. Let's start by talking about what you really love about your life today. We would suggest starting out by listing five things that you enjoy about your life today. These are the things that make you really happy. Of course, you can list more than five, but at least five to get you started. When you're putting together that list of those five or more things that you love about your life, really consider all aspects of your life. So think about friends, family, hobbies, projects, everything that you love today. It could even be something from work that you enjoy today, like having really challenging projects to work on, or maybe just those casual interactions that you get with your colleagues. When we did this exercise, we came up with a long list, but we'll share our top five here. The first one is travel. We love experiencing new countries. The next one is actually related to travel, and that is trying new cuisines. We love sampling food from all over the world. The next one is enjoying the outdoors with our dogs. We love getting out there with our dogs any chance we can. The next one is spending time with our families. Since we were living in Singapore for over six years, we really find that having any time with our families is really precious to us. And the final one is fitness. We love working towards our fitness goals and get a lot of satisfaction out of that part of our life. Now we're going to work on another list. This is a list of all of the things you've always wanted to do but never had enough time. So again, try for at least five, but if you have more on the list, that's even better. For this one, think big. Don't feel constrained by what you think is possible or realistic. This is your chance to dream and imagine doing whatever you always wanted to do. Whether it's finally running a marathon, or going to grad school, or running a local nonprofit. Or maybe it's learning how to cook French cuisine or hiking in the Himalayas. Of course, these are all just random examples. The important thing is that this is your time to dream and to come up with whatever would be the life that you want to be living when you're retired. When we did this exercise, we came up with a lot of really huge, crazy ideas. But here are our top five. So the first one is living as a local in different countries. So we love the idea of experiencing new countries, but as a local and very slowly, really spending some time in those new cultures. The next one is to design and build a tiny home. I love coming up with designs and working with my hands. So this is something that I would really love to do one day, which leads to the third one, which is grow our own produce. I dream of having a big garden to go along with our future tiny home. The next one is to take our dogs on multi-day treks. So we love getting out into the mountains and really experiencing nature, but we've never been able to do it with our dogs because they were only ever two week vacations. And finally, the fifth idea on our list was to share our experiences of early retirement with other people through a creative project. If you put these two lists together, the things that you already love doing today, plus the things you always dreamed of doing, you'll have at least 10 ideas to get you started. From your list of 10 or more ideas, you can now pick the top three. These are the things that you are really excited about pursuing during your first few years of retirement. Now, of course, you'll be doing lots of other things aside from those, but those are the things that you will make a commitment to do either on a daily basis or on a weekly basis in those first few years. After we created our list, we had a series of conversations and eventually settled on the three main activities that would be our focus during our first couple years of retirement. So the first thing on the list was to live as a local in different countries. And we have been doing exactly that. So since we retired in 2019, we have been living in different countries for at least one or two months and really getting a chance to see what it's like to be a local there. The next one is enjoying the outdoors with our dogs, including multi-day treks. 
And so far we've gotten in lots of full day hikes and we're gradually increasing the distance so that our little guys can keep up when we do multi-day treks. The third activity that is a big focus for us now in our early retirement is sharing our experiences through our YouTube channel. So this is a creative outlet for us and it's giving us the opportunity to develop some new skills in some areas that we hadn't tried before. And finally, it's giving us the opportunity to connect with like-minded people who are also interested in financial independence and in travel. Of course, our days are filled with lots of other things as well, but these three are really giving us a sense of direction and purpose in our first year of retirement. For you, deciding on those top three activities or projects should go a long way in helping you feel like you're living a life that was worth retiring for, or at minimum, it should help keep you off the couch. Now I'll share what we found most surprising about life in retirement, and that is far from being bored, we actually found we didn't have enough time to do everything we wanted to do in a day. So we started our retirement thinking that we would have all the time in the world to do everything we ever wanted to do. But instead, what we discovered is that there are still only 24 hours in a day and seven days in a week. So we found we needed to bring more structure and routine and goal setting to our days. This helped us feel a lot more focused and productive in our day-to-day -day activities, which ultimately made us feel very satisfied and fulfilled with our first year in early retirement. If you found this video helpful and would like to know how we stayed motivated on our journey to early retirement, we recommend watching this video right here. You can go ahead and click on it now. And if you enjoyed this video, you can let us know by hitting like, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you back next time.